If I could choose just one lens to show off the perfect lighting we have today with the up-down sun mid-noon in our flat earth dome raining down upon me creating raccoon eyes which is the most desired effect human beings have ever known. Could I pick just one camera and one lens for the rest of my life? Could we do it? And which would I pick? And are we on it right now? All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So admittedly for my show, we don't even have to think about this. I could use anybody's smartphone I could pick any random person on the street, give them $40 for their phone and just create my whole show. It doesn't matter. Most of my life has been on the Sony X3000. Still can't be beat to this day. So it doesn't matter. This whole video is pointless. Case in point, do you even see a difference? You can't, there is no difference. I didn't switch cameras. I didn't. This is full frame. We're on the Huawei. It's pretty bad. It's probably more dynamic range. It's probably exposing this awkward ass situation better. It's been a while since we even tried it. Better stay. There's something about having cheap gear. There's the guy who's just like, does his whole channel on a phone or just the first camera he ever got and he never changed it. And then he's like super successful and he's just laughing at all these gear freaks. Whereas there's the other guy with the Sony 8, no, not even above that, like the FX6 or something. He's like, <laughs> and this show sucks. Just the worst short films go nowhere, no emotion. And that guy is just like, huh, it's the gear, bro. You need the best gear. Now we're on the bigger sensor. This is medium format now. Oh, wow. It's been so long since I've brought this out. You know why? Just a little side tangent here. This fit great in a jacket pocket, so it was with me all the time. I could put it right in there, the tripod sticking out a bit. Now, you can't put this in a pocket. It's a big ass phone and a stick. So it's like you're carrying something. You might as well bring a better camera. Which lens am I looking at? I forgot, I switched. So this no longer has any advantages, only disadvantages. Weird colors, strange movements. But it's magical and you can zoom on that magical truck who's doing stuff. Oh God, it's so smooth. Oh, that is so smooth. Why do they do it? Why do you do it, man? Uh, you don't look like you're working very hard. You look like you're eating a sandwich. A magical rainbow sandwich. What if? Money didn't matter, I could choose any system. We start with the honorable mentions. I could get by with the Olympus EM-1 III, EM-1 II, I had the two. Flat Earth Santa gifted it upon us, but it was a infrared convert. So I made a couple videos with it and I was like, okay, that's, that's an interesting look. I ended up selling it though. I had the EM-1 Mark III normal version and then the two was like, and it's weird. I could have used it in black and white, but it could have been a boardroom meeting cam, but I ended up selling it. Honestly, someone wanted it. It's like, oh, that's a cool look. Wow. One of the coolest factors to having a micro four thirds bitch cam, it's almost brag rights because they're so like cheap. It's like, what, you have a full frame? Was that 10 grand? Oh, you suck. I just use this. It looks better than you. How's that stabe? Ah, bitch. It's just, it feels cool to have something cheap. Like, I felt good shooting with the G85 for so long. It's like, ah, man, you still can't beat this thing. With the hack, you couldn't. You really couldn't. The eye dynamic feature, side by side with the G85. And we walk. Oh my god. The G85's crushing a full frame camera. Why is he doing it? Why is he doing it? You have any idea how much money I spent? The autofocus was just so embarrassing though, but even in the studio, you could have just tapped and leaned back and boom, it would have got you. So Olympus, I kind of wish that's the only cam I had. Just the Olympus with the 12 mil Tony two, just do the whole show. The studio, although for, there's some reason, the Olympus has amazing colors outside and sometimes good colors inside. My studio is an enigma. 
No camera can cope with it. It's got weird lighting from all sources. One day we'll have a studio, I'll black out the window, we'll get correct lighting. Wow, look at us. So Micro Four Thirds could be fun. Honestly, I wouldn't want to do my whole show on Panasonic. I've already done it. I've been there, down that torture road to misery and divorce. I don't want to head there again, so we'd have to up it a notch. Olympus I could do. When it comes to stepping it up a notch, the one camera I regret giving away, even though it was a gift, the Canon M50. That one hurts. Ian Corzine gave it to us. I had it for a bit. My GH5S crushed it in image quality. Let me just say this about Panasonic. There's something about the image, the richness. The colors are wrong, but they're rich. The detail is there, like it's a fantastic image, the quality of it. Whereas when I switch to the Olympus, it's like cheap looking and over sharpened and it's not right, but the colors are better, so I choose it. You know what's funny? I just made a video on my other channel and I was down by a creek and it was so magical looking. And so I'm like, okay, I'll go to another spot to make this one. And this is what we end up with. I'm by a road, a bus just rode by, the sun is backlit in me. There's nothing here, there's just weeds. I'm on a hill. So I ended up giving that Canon M50 away to somebody who deserved it. Like, I'm happy they have it, but I never saw them use it. And they got mad at me for something. We had a falling out, and I was like, oh, man. <laughs> I never got to see it being enjoyed. And that hurts. It really hurts. So, like, I've almost wanted to buy it back. I saw a Canon M6 Mark II. We could do our whole show on that. Get the Sigma 16 and 30 mil 1.4s. And you got two... But could you vlog with it? That's the thing. If you're choosing one camera, one lens, it's got to be able to do both studio and here. This is doing it. So Olympus EM1 Mark III with the 12mm Tony II. That could do out here fine, and it could pass as a studio cam, but it would look cheap inside. Panasonic G9 with the Laowa 7.5mm could be fun, although the Leica 15 mils better. It wasn't, yeah. You distracted me. I had it. I would have had it. <laughs> okay. okay. Oh, they're heckling me. <laughs> She's like, retake. Retake. Yeah, that was not good, man. That was not good. You had to talk to us short now. What accent was that? Is that where you're from? So yeah, I take back the Canons. You can't get by with one lens to rule them all for a Canon system. The Sigmas, 16 mil 1.4 be too shaky out here you couldn't do it and if you went full frame the only lens is the giant 15 to 35 that's too heavy oh, too bad boy until the 24 mil 1.8 comes out stabilized uh oh cannon back in the game wow that could happen <laughs> i just saw a patent 19 mil tony 2.8 stabilized prime that's probably a pancaker so, welcome to the pancake house that would be light, stabilized, fantastic. i buy right into that R. No bigger, no R6, no R5, just R. Okay, let's get to the point here. There's a top two and we know it. You're looking at one and the other one, you could have been looking at. You don't know that you're not. I'll let you know. Fuji, X-T4 or X-S10, you could do that. It looks just as good, basically. 10-bit, we don't deserve it. With the 16 mil, I think that has to be your lens. 16 mil 1.4, not 2.8. Don't be, let's get real. With the 16 mil 1.4, it's a good look at home. In the studio, it looks fantastic. I'd like, I prefer the 23 mil. It's a little tighter, a little nicer. But you couldn't really vlog with it. I could and have and will again. It's a little tight though. And the 18 mil Tony 2, it's a little tight. That was a dumb purchase. That was stupid. But the 16 mil, you got your lens and system. XT4 16 mil, you could get anything done with that. The only known competition to an XT4 and 16 mil Tony 2 is what you're witnessing. You are witnessing it. The Sony A7S III, 20 mil Tony 1.8 at 2.8. I messed with you. I brought some background into our heart, didn't I? Yeah, I did. I could have I gone full Tony mode. That's what that would have been. 
you'd be like, where am I? You're disappointed. We could be Tony 4. I lied. Tony 2.8 is no problem. 2.5 any time. That's good enough, really. Tony 2 is fine. If you have to stop it open, that's not a problem. 1.8. This lens, it's fun in the studio. It's a bit wide, but it could be done. And out here, fantastic. I tried to not create the shadows. Is it good? That's good. What are we at? 8,000 of a shutter? That's good. That's fine. This is the debate, Sony versus Fuji, for top-end YouTubers who get recognized on the street twice a year, at least. This would be it. What do you go with? The better autofocus technology versus the more pleasing look to some? Some might disagree. Ah, if I had to choose, honestly, places on fire, grab one and run, That'd be hurtful. That'd be hard. I don't know that I could. Every time I compare the Fuji to the Sony, I prefer the Fuji. And like, that's what you're doing. You're making a video. The end product is what we see. And I prefer the look of the suit. Suji? Oh boy. But Sony just has the better autofocus. There are times on Fuji where I just, I lean one way and I'm out. Sony could never lose you. I've tried. I've tried to run out of the shot. It turned itself to me. Even if you're out here, it's tracking you. It tracks you right here. It switched to that eye because it knew this was dangerously close to being out of existence. Just the technology, the better image, like full frame is a better quality image, but still the Fuji, it looks nicer, more pleasing. For stabilization, it's kind of a wash. They're very similar. I don't even remember which is better. Uh, we'll have to test them again one day, but now that I have the 16 mil, we could do an actual test. Should have probably done that for this video, but we didn't. Ah, ah, the color science versus the reptilian technology. Really, but the fact remains, every time I make a video on the Sony camera, I'm disappointed in some way. <laughs> Did I just scowl at firemen? That was a good thing to do. But then I waved. We, we mended the fences. Just how much this camera cost and the lens, the lens is cheap. And then I'm like looking at the footage, I'm like, what is that? Like there's been mistakes. That was a Tony 5.6. Huh? Take that. There's a skyline for you, huh? I almost stepped on stinging nettles. That's a bitch. Just making a vlog. Oh, like a vlog? Do you want to be in it? Yeah. Yeah, you're in it now. Yay. GTA. GTA. Yeah. <laughs> you think? You too. Where do I find it? Camera conspiracies. Camera conspiracies? Yeah. YouTube? Yeah. Awesome okay. My name's Jenny. Jenny, nice to meet you, Jenny. I'm Casey. Okay. <laughs> It's funny, I'm just on this random ass spot. Like there's a sidewalk right here. And then if you come off it a little bit, there's like this steep hill into nothingness. There's zero reason I would pick this spot. I was running out of options. And this is a terrible spot and the worst lighting we've ever seen. So honestly, I don't think I could pick between them. I'm so happy to have them both. Thank you, Flatter Santa, for blessing us. It's just every time I like to switch. I love switching. I love having all these different options. It was a pigeon. It's just fun. Like I get sick of the Sony look. I'm like, ah. And then I go to Fuji. I'm like, oh yeah. And then I'm doing that. And then I'm like, oh, try this again. Oh, full frame magic. Look at that. It's fantastic. 5.6. That's not full frame magic. There's nothing magical about it. Unless we were Tony 8. Wow, this is like a GoPro now. At some point it turns into contrast detect worse than any Panasonic camera you've ever seen. That's fine. I lean Fuji though, just to be less embarrassed because it costs less money, so I could have an excuse. Oh, it's, it was only a thousand dollars. Whereas like this one, like six grand or something total, 
and you made this? It's embarrassing. So, both fantastic. Which would I recommend you get? Probably the Fuji. Fuji XS10. With the Sam Yang 12 mil tone it too. <laughs> you could get by. So, pointless video as usual. Thank you for joining me. The Tony 8 episode. I'm gonna leave. What's your favorite camera? One lens, one camera combo. Is it a GoPro? You son of a bitch. If they were reliable, I'd do my whole show on it. Popping audio, what the hell is that? Indoors, I could just press record and it's like It's not popcorn show. Popcorn maker hat. I'll go. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you on the next one. Is it doing it? Is it doing the popping? You better not be. 5K, 24P. You could do it as a studio cam. Wow, that lags. It's unusable as a color science. So I recommend GoPro for the studio, A7S3 outside. That's good. I'll go.